Hey, what's up everybody? As I promised in my last video, we're gonna do today alerts and notifications on your stream in OBS. So, let's get it started. Alright guys, so I'm gonna explain how to set up properly all of the things. So first of all, open a browser and open streamlabs.com. Uh, when you have it, then log in with your provider. In my case, it's gonna be Twitch. Cool. And the left side under alert box, in under futures, there's gonna be a point alert box. Please click on that one. Alright, so you're gonna have all your alerts here under one hood. What we're gonna do here, first we're gonna copy the widget URL, uh, which is plugged out here because it's private. So click on the copy icon and open your OBS as an administrator, like we usually do, and open the scene where you would like to paste or where you would like to show your alerts. Okay, so in my case, it's a game screen and you're gonna add here a browser source. Okay, so it's gonna be the alerts, click okay. Okay, and in the URL line, you're gonna paste this link. Then you click OK. Okay, I'm gonna move this window away because the link is private. I'm gonna paste it. I'm gonna click OK. All right, it's there. Uh, then it's gonna be on the left side. It's not visible now, but it's already there. Okay, this is the standard size, what normally OB is offering. And you're gonna pull it where you want to get it shown. Okay, so I'm gonna move it in the middle. Perfect. And I'm gonna show you guys how looks a follow and the subscription by me. Okay, so I'm gonna open Streamlabs here and move it to the left side so you guys can actually see on my OBS how it's gonna pop up. So first you're gonna test follow. Sorry about the double voice, the other PC had the volume also on, then test subscription. As you guys can see, the base is always the same. What's the difference is basically the text and a little graphical color on the top. And I also have different music for each of the pop-up. And I'm gonna show you guys how you can do and achieve it. So we're gonna move OBS for half of the screen here so we can actually test it. And on the left side, we're gonna use uh, the OBS uh, homepage. Cool. Um, there is general settings first in the alerts, okay. Um, before then you do anything, you set this up and these settings gonna apply for each of the points. I mean for follows, for subscriptions, for donations, etc, etc. Um, I normally set the alert delay here for 10 seconds. Background color is not so, background color is not so important. That's why I'm starting with the second point. So alert delay 10 seconds. Um, Unlimited alert moderation delay disabled. I don't touch that one. Moderation delay. I also don't want to delay my any of my alerts. I'm really happy that they're popping up at the moment uh, when somebody is following. And you can, in layout, you can set where the text is going to appear uh, compared to the layout. So if I my, my package is the following. All of my graphical uh, animations, it doesn't matter if it's a picture or my, my videos, I always love when the text appear above them. But you can set up that the text is gonna appear below them or on the left side gonna appear the picture and the right side the text. Okay, you can set that one up here and later when you save it, it's gonna apply for everything by default. Okay. Um, what's really important here still, alert pair is disabled and profanity filter. If you wanna filter bad words on your stream, then these bad words gonna be stored out uh, when they are gonna pop up. So a lot gonna pop up with a bad word. The bad word gonna be uh, start out and the rest gonna appear normally. Cool, then you click save settings. Then we hop to the first one, okay. Each of them you can set up individually and each of them you can turn on and off. So for example, you're gonna say, you don't want to show the follows, you just click here that you don't want them or you choose follow and you say, you disable it. Then with this one link, everything else will appear except the follows, okay? So it's really important, you can set all of them individually. 
cool. Uh, as you guys saw, my layout is over on the on the animation. Uh, you can check the alert animation, how this picture and animation gonna be gonna come to your screen. It's gonna fade in, fade out, or you can choose a different one. You can make a lot of fancy different options. Then the message template, really important. Please remember for that, everything what's in these signs is a variable. If you remove them, you know, the name who followed you or who subscribed not going to be visible. Not only the name, in the notion, the amount um, and on on other places, for example, bits. Also, there is a variable for the for the amount of bits. So please remember, don't remove this one. Try to build your text around these variables. OK, uh, you can also set a separate animation for the text. And here in image, you can choose your actual animation or the picture, what's going to fade in or out, uh, which in my case was the triangle there. Uh, the sound, uh, you can choose the individual sound for each of the alerts here and you can set the volume for this sound. So you say you want a little bit louder your uh, your follows, but you don't want your so loud your subscriptions or you can set all of them a little bit lower if by any means it's too loud on your OBS because you can't set the alerts in OBS. You can set the alerts, uh, the alerts volume in OBS. OK, uh, you can set the alert duration here also separately, which in my case is nine seconds uh, for for the follow. And the following is the open font settings. OK, for the font I'm using OpenZens and the font size is by means 18 pixel. You can check also this one and font weight. It's going to be how bold is going to be or how thin is going to be. Uh, you can set also the color of the text and the text highlight color, which in this case will be the variable, the name. OK, so the highlight is always the variable itself. Okay. Then you have variations for each of situations, uh, which is a little bit more complex in case, for example, in subscriptions. Then I'm click on the subscriptions. Uh, please don't forget in every action when you finish, before that, I'm go, going to go further. Please click on save settings. Really important. If you don't click on save settings and you click on the next window, your settings will be gone and it's not going to apply to your stream. OK. So uh, back to the variations, I can explain really easily with the subscriptions. When somebody subscribed for at least two months, it's going to come a different alert or text. If somebody's resubbing, coming a different alert or a different um, tune for that. And when somebody gifted a sub, then it's also coming, for example, a different animation or different text for it. You can set for each of them individually. OK, for each of the alerts, basically the setup is almost the same. You have a picture for it or animation. You have the text for it. Only the variables are different and you can set them, uh, set the text in general, what you want to show or what you want to say when somebody subscribed, somebody followed or somebody hosting or somebody donated for you. Um, so those are the basics, guys, but now I'm going to go over on the points, but I think it's self-explanatory that uh, you have subscriptions, donations here, host bits in case somebody is giving bits for you. If somebody is raiding you, um, you can also turn on extra life donations, what we are making together with my team. Uh, you can set merch alerts, then with the merch and uh, who purchased it going to pop up on your screen. Uh, Cloudbot uh, Redemption and Streamlabs Prime Gift I don't use. I never use them, so I can't give any advice about them. But um, you can check them out on the website here. Uh, what, what are the Prime functions and uh, what can you gain from them? So testing each of their functionality. Uh, when you see below your link going to be a test buttons here. Test follow, test subscription, test resub. So if you have the browser resource already in your OBS, you click one of these buttons and they're going to appear uh, where you place them. OK, and I almost forget one more thing, guys. If you guys want to further customize uh, your alerts, there is an option there below for enable custom HTML and CSS uh, where you can further and deep customize uh, your alerts and their appearance with HTML and CSS coding. All right, guys, those are the alerts for OBS. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you guys love the video, please press the subscribe button or you can ask questions below the comments or on Discord. 
Uh, if you want to talk to me live, I'm live on Twitch on every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 18.30 till late on Western European time. Till then, take care, guys. Bye.